good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you find yourself in the world. It's such a pleasure to see you again. In Proverbs chapter 31 from verse 30, favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. You're welcome to the Deep Alive Bible Church YouTube channel. Here we talk about faith. We talk about Christian relationship. We talk about how to court efficiently and how to prepare for a godly, healthy, and successful marriage. If you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Do subscribe and be a part of our family. We are also on Facebook as a group, and we also have a page on Facebook, also called the same name, Deep Life Bible Church Single. There is a lot going on there. There's questions, there are answers that are provided. There are mentors, there are leaders, that are, there are counselors and advice, advisors who will be very willing to help everyone who comes with a concern. We are always happy to help. And I'll put the link below in the video so that you, you know the right um, group to join. And don't forget, we are also on Instagram. Just please remember to follow us at DLBC Singles to all our returning members and part of this family, you are very welcome. We're happy to see you again. Today we're talking about a topic that is very um, important in the sense that a woman is the mother of a home. When a woman starts a home, she is the center of everything that's going on in that home. And that's why today we're trying to find out, we're talking about what a man seeks in his woman, what a man is looking for in his wife. And that's why we read that verse from Proverbs chapter 31, verse 20, where God tells us that Proverbs 31 from verse 30, Favor is deceitful. Is it enough to have favor? No, it's deceitful. And beauty is vain. Beauty is just like a, a flower that's beautiful in the day, then in the evening, it's all gone. It's beauty, it's shine, it's all gone. But what lasts long is a woman that fears the Lord, virtue, virtue is very important. Now, many men have what they call an ideal wife. What's an ideal wife? To many men, it means different things. But one thing that we found out after talking with lots of people, what I've come to realize, and even when talking with my own husband, I've come to realize that there is some very um, trending, traits that men are looking for in their ideal wife. A man wants his wife to be exclusive to him. So if you are the kind of lady that likes to hang around with um, different kind of men, you're just this kind of loose lady and you're cutting and you're wondering why your courtships, your relationships does not last. Is not far-fetched. The reason is because every man wants a woman that is exclusive to him. Even after marriage, even before marriage, a man wants a woman that has all that, that's all his, exclusively his. Not one that he sees with A tomorrow, Peter next tomorrow, Stephen talks to her, Pete, James, junior, everybody has access to her. That ex exclusivity matters a lot to a man. They want to know that if you have decided 
to have a relationship with them or if you're courting, you are not double dating. You're not keeping a man as a second fiddle. You are not keeping another person just in case this relationship doesn't work. Maybe I'll have something to fall back to. No, no, no. Every man wants his woman to be exclu exclusively his. Not only that. Number two, every man or most men want their wife to represent herself well. What do I mean by that? Representing yourself well in the sense that you look good. A man wants to be able to, be, to see you and be proud of you. He wants to be able to proudly present you to his friends, to his family. He wants to, 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 to look at you and, and be proud of you. How do you do that as a lady? You represent yourself well in your attitude, in your behavior, in the way you talk. Some ladies don't know how to talk. They do not mind their language. They do not learn to behave like a lady. A man does not want to marry another man in the way you behave, in the way you, you give orders, you know, you make rules. I'm not saying that you should be this kind of loose person, um, I mean, unauthoritative person. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm only saying that you should know your place as a woman and be feminine. That feminine, that femininity, you know, that comportment, that courage, representing yourself well. Be confident in yourself. Build on this. If there's any of this thing, this part that's lacking for whatever reason your experiences, there are things you can do to build up your own self-confidence. Be confident in yourself. You are wonderfully and beautifully made. God took his time to make you. Why wouldn't you be confident in yourself? You are beautiful, trust me. That lady that you're looking at and you think she's more beautiful, everybody has something in them that they feel is not enough. Nobody is perfect. Nobody feels perfect at least. So please, what you are looking away from, what you think that is not, it's not enough. Another lady is looking at it and like, oh, she's so lucky. She has this, she has that. I love her eyes. I love her lips. I love her face. I love her shape, I love her skin color, I love her stature, I love her accent, I love her, her body language, her comportment, her courage, many things. No lady thinks that she has it all. So your own inadequacies, what you feel are inadequacies might be somebody else's um, wish. Let's put it that way. That is somebody else's wish. They want to be like that, but they can't be like that. So appreciate yourself the way you are and learn to carry yourself with confidence because the way you carry your, what you think, the way you think of yourself, most times reflects in the way you carry yourself. And that's why it's very important to change your mindset. Tell yourself every day when you look yourself in the mirror, tell yourself, oh, look at this beautiful child of God, this princess, this this, this, this queen. By the way, I forgot to tell you, my name is Princess. <laughs> so carry yourself as a princess, as a queen, as that beautiful creature that God has made. Every man, every man wants you to represent yourself well. Number three, every man respects a woman who enforces her boundaries. She has boundaries and she enforces it. One man told me once that he was trying his spouse, his spouse to be his fiance or one of the ladies in his life. He would ask her to do some very nasty things. Imagine among Christians, he'll ask her on a call on to have a video call and that he wants to see her body. He wants to see some, some very private things. Those are times when as a lady, you should say no. Say no. I can't let you see this. I'm not married to you yet. I can't let you see my underwear. I can't let you see my, my very private parts. 
It's private to me and I can't let you see it. A woman should learn to set her boundaries. After an evening out with your fiance, you've talked, you've had a nice time. And he says he's tired. And he says, can I have a cup of water? Set your boundaries right. That's when you should say, no, go home. You need to go now. If you need water, I'll give you a bottle of water. Drink it in your car or drink it on your way. Do not drink water in my house. Do not come in to stretch your, your, your feet in my home. I'm living alone. I do not want to give an opportunity to be tempted by the devil. No, thank you. Do not give that opportunity. The Bible says that we should flee all appearances of evil. Just the appearance, the way it looks, the clothes is, is, is not evil, but it's almost flee all appearances of evil. Just like Joseph ran away. He ran away from Potiphar's wife. He didn't stay there and, and say, no, don't touch me, please. No, no, please don't touch me. No, I said, don't touch me. No, he didn't do that. He, he flew, he ran. He even left, he left his shirt in front of some people, some, 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 some um, comment, comment, commentary say, he even left his shirt for her. He ran. Set your boundaries right as a woman. That man will respect you. Every man will respect you. Setting your boundaries right. Set your boundaries right. Number four, she is capable of creating high value. Right? He is also, he knows that with this lady, I would be able to have a high value partnership. A high, she, 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 she is someone of a very, of weight. She has weight, financial weight, academic weight, brilliant and calculative. We read from Proverbs chapter 31. I love the book of Proverbs chapter 31. Tells me a lot about this, 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 this virtuous woman. She is, she is something, something you want to, you, you, you don't get tired of studying her. Proverbs chapter 31 from verse 13 and 14. There's a lot to say, but let's stop there. He says, from verse 12, she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Number first, verse 13, she seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is proud of her work. She's not ashamed of what she does for a living. She's not ashamed of any kind of work as long as it gives her her daily bread. She does it with her hands, willingly. She's not forced. She does it willingly. Dignity in labor. Not only that, 14, she is like the merchant ships. Like the merchant ships, she bringeth her food from afar. Let me indulge myself on verse. Let's read even up to verse 15. She ariseth, or she riseth also while it is yet night. She is industrious. You can see this lady. She's industrious and she gives meat. She giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. Not only does she give her household, her family, she also gives to her maiden. She has enough, but she's a nice lady. She has a good heart. She considers her maidens, the people that work for her, she gives them a portion. Summary of this thing is that there's still more that she has a feel and she buys, she buys it with, with the fruit. You know, there's a lot of things about her, her, in, her industrious attitude, her calculative attitude. A very smart lady. That is what every man wants to see. I was talking with one of one, a young man, and he says, a man doesn't want to marry a liability. Nowadays, especially, most men don't want to marry a liability, and that's why they're very picky and selective. And this is to say that it's not until you go and have a degree before you, you become a great value in the hands of a man. 
whatever it is that you're trying to do. Is it a craft? Is it a hobby? Is it, is it a business? Is it sewing? So sewing so is it's 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 some is something now that is really of high value. Sewing, so decor, cake making, business, whatever it is that you find to do, my sisters, please, ladies, please do it willingly. Do it well. Be good at at your at at, at whatever you're doing. Be good at it. So that when any man meets you, he knows, wow, this is a conglomerate. This is a lady I want to associate with. This is a lady I can be proud to call my wife. This lady is busy. And trust me, when you're busy, you don't even see time passing. And that's a very beautiful way to live your single, your single, your singlehood. Your spinsterhood, you can live it without seeing time go by so fast because you're not idle. You're not waiting and saying, oh, who is going to come and take, him, take over my burden? Who's going to take over my pains? Who's going to take over my bills? No, I just need somebody to take care of my bills. If I can just marry somebody, he'll take care of my bills. No, look around, find something to do. Pray, ask the Lord to lead you. You would find something to do and you become industrious. You become self-sufficient. Two, you come together with your husband and you become, you become two and you become a stronger force. Your own income and his own income together, you make a very strong force. That's why, please, please try your best. Find something to do. Be busy. Please be busy. Last but not least, and that's just a few of the few things that a man is looking for from his ideal wife. Number five, a woman who is respectful. I'm, it's sad to say that some ladies are very rude, rude and disrespectful. And sometimes you're like, who is this person talking? And she's a lady? Why would she say this? They talk anyhow. They talk dirty. They don't, they're not ladylike. They are not. Please, sisters, let's try to work on our language, to work on our words. Let this, the word of God dwell richly in you. I would be surprised if a child of God, a Christian lady, who has given her heart to Jesus and has Jesus in her heart, still behaves like a street lady. Like a lady who has never come close to Calvary, who has never known Jesus as his as her friend. And that's why, if we're Christians, we should live like little Christ. On social media, when we write, when we respond to people, let's be very careful how we respond, what we say, because those words are like egg. They will always follow you. They come around to taint your image, they come around to make you look bad. And maybe you didn't mean it. And maybe at that time, you just said it out of annoyance. Please, when you are annoyed and angry, please do not say anything. Try to manage to keep quiet at that time. And be respectful to everybody you meet because you don't know when you would meet your husband. Just like the Bible says that we should treat strangers well because we don't know when we are going to meet angels. So you don't know when you're going to meet your husband. So be very careful mindful of the way you talk to people. Generally, some people have talked so badly, has to have misspoke and have missed opportunities. They have missed angels that would have helped help us, people that would have helped them in life. They missed it because of the way they talk, the kind of words they write on social media, the responses that they give. Be very careful how you speak. Every man wants a woman that respects them. I'll tell you one secret. My husband said the first time he spoke with me, one thing that stays with, stayed with him was that I made him feel good. I did it without knowing. I only talked to him because I've learned, our mom has taught us to always mind how you talk to everybody. As a single lady, mind how you talk to men because you don't know who will eventually be your husband. You don't know who will eventually be the friend of your husband who would say, no, don't marry that girl. She's so rude. And he's saying that to his friend. 
And then your husband, your husband to be begins to have double mind. Like, oh, if my friend said this about this lady, is she really nice? Maybe I should be careful. So that's why. Talk nice. Don't, don't flatter them. Just be respectful. Just be responsible in the way you talk, in your responses, in your reactions. And be calm. Be calm. No matter the situation, try it. Try to develop patience and calm. Let the peace of God dwell in you. Don't let rage and anger and emotions take over you and you forget yourself and you start talking anyhow, loosely, outside, in the public. No, and people are holding you and trying to contain you and you are throwing around your hands and making a lot of noise and a lot of fuss. No, let's not be fussy. Let's not be like that. Be contained. When you know that what somebody is saying is really offending you, stick that time to say, Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need your help. By the time you finish saying that 30 times, <laughs> you wouldn't have, you'd have, you, your anger, it, ha, it would have bubbled out. You wouldn't be able to, to, to spill out your beans. You would say all the things that you would have said. Tell it to the Lord. Lord, please help me. Please help me. Lord, please help me. Please help you. Please help me. Say that 30 times. I give you the challenge. Say it 50 times. Tell God to help you. Ask Jesus to help you so that the time, the moment will pass and you wouldn't say what you, should, you would have said at the heat of the moment. I pray that the Lord gives us the wisdom. And in, before we go, I will read the last verse, verse 30, in verse, um, Proverbs chapter 31 from verse 23. Her husband is known in the gates when he seated among the elders of the land. This is the, the husband of the, the virtuous woman. He's respected in the gates because he, the woman is just, she's phenomenal. She's fantastic. What man will not be respected? <coughs> Excuse me. When he has such a, he has such a lovely wife. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's why pray that the Lord will help you. The Lord will work on your character your comportment, on your language, on your words, on your emotions. <coughs> Excuse me. And so that you can be a woman that every man will want to marry. A woman that every man will be proud that he got you. A jewel that you are. A precious jewel. I pray that the Lord will give us an answer of peace. The Lord will perfect everything that concerns us. The Lord will purify us by gold. Make us a beautiful gem, beautiful in the sight. God bless you. I'm praying for you. Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to, to like. And click on that notification bell below so that you can be alerted whenever we post new videos. Remain blessed until next time. Goodbye.